I saw a classic car while I was driving to work today, which reminded me of a common myth that is still persistent even today in the motoring world, which says that older cars are stronger and more durable than newer cars, especially in crashes. Now it's time to debunk that myth and I want you to know that classic cars are not more durable than newer cars. And in order to understand where this myth came from, we have to understand the concept of crumple zones which caused all of this controversy. As technology advances, newer cars are becoming safer in every perceivable category, with a wide range of safety features unavailable in older vehicles. There are several reasons why newer cars are safer than older cars, and in this video, we will explore the most significant ones. The development of advanced safety systems, such as AEB, side curtain airbags, EBD, and many others, is one of the fundamental reasons why newer cars are safer than older cars. Many new vehicles now come equipped with features such as autonomous braking, lane departure warning systems, adaptive cruise control, and blind spot detection, which help prevent accidents from happening in the first place. Even in the event of an accident, newer cars are designed to protect their occupants better than older cars. Let's have a look at the most misunderstood safety feature that has a significant role, the crumple zone. The crumple zone is an area at the front of the car designed to deform in a controlled manner in the event of a collision, absorbing much of the impact and reducing the force of the collision on the occupants of the car. Crumple zones work by allowing the front of the car to absorb the energy of the impact, slowing down the vehicle and reducing forces that are transferred to the passenger compartment. This is achieved through carefully designed structures that collapse or crumple, much like a piece of paper that I showed you in the beginning, but in a controlled manner, absorbing the energy of the collision and reducing the forces transmitted to the car's occupants. Another critical factor that makes newer cars safer is the increasing use of advanced materials in construction. We're looking at beautiful cars made of lightweight materials such as high-strength steel, aluminum, and carbon, which are much stronger and much more durable than the materials used in older cars, albeit carbon fiber is the most expensive material and is used primarily with high-performance vehicles. This makes them much better able to withstand the forces of a collision, reducing the likelihood of severe injury or death in the event of an accident. The safety of newer cars is also reflected in the results of crash tests. Modern cars undergo various crash tests, including front, side, and rear impact tests, to evaluate their safety in real-world scenarios. These tests simulate the types of collisions that are most commonly encountered on the road, and they allow car manufacturers to identify any weaknesses in their designs and make improvements to ensure the safety of their vehicles. Although it's painful to see the cars being destroyed before you, especially if they're expensive, this process is necessary to ensure safety when manufacturers design their vehicles. To prove my point, check out this iconic video. A 2009 Chevrolet Malibu and a 1959 Chevrolet Bel Air, a popular sedan featured in the original Mad Max movie, collided in a 40% offset crash at 64 kilometers per hour. This type of collision is meant to simulate a frontal offset collision test. The Malibu, which received a 5-star rating in 2013, performed as expected with the front crumpling while the passenger compartment remained intact. In contrast, the outcome for the Bel Air was horrific. I'll let you be the judge for this crash. Look at the interior for the Bel Air and look at the interior for the Malibu and you tell me which car has higher chances of surviving this horrific crash. And now let's have a look at a 1998 Toyota Corolla versus a 2015 Toyota Corolla. And you tell me which car fared better. Have a look at the passenger compartment and notice all the damage. In conclusion, it's time to put this myth to rest. We can all agree that newer cars are safer than older cars 
Due to the development of advanced safety systems, the use of crumple zones, the increasing use of advanced materials, and the results of crash tests. If you're in the market for a new car, it's important to consider such safety features carefully and choose a vehicle designed to provide maximum protection in the event of an accident. If you can afford it, that is. And that's the sad part, ladies and gentlemen. If it were up to me, I would actually standardize most of these safety systems, including side curtain airbags, for example, lane detection, blind spot, all of these things. And I think most importantly, apart from airbags, autonomous braking. And have a great day.